So a few days ago, Drayton Manor Theme Park in Staffordshire posted an article on their website giving us information about what they've been doing during the close season. Alongside that, a very exciting teaser was posted on Drayton Manor's Instagram story. So without no further ado, let's get straight into the video. So first of all, the following video was posted on all of Drayton Manor's social media pages. The video shows text which says, we're making waves, get ready for a brand new adventure. More info coming soon. Also behind each of the texts was a pirate ship steering wheel. Looking at the line, we're making waves, gives me a massive water ride vibes. So personally, I think very soon they'll be officially announcing the reopening of Splash Canyon under a new name. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this announcement will be based on Splash Canyon with all of the work that's been going on in the ride area this closed season. Also, over the past few weeks, I've been making loads of Drayton Manor House of Season updates, so why not go and check them out? But yeah, I'll be sure to update you when more information comes out. Moving on from that, I'm now going to share the updates that Drayton Manor have posted on their official website. So the first update is that the former Stormforce 10 jet tower has had a big overhaul. The jet branding has been removed and replaced by a 5 meter wide Stormforce 10 logo. Alongside that, the tower has had a repaint. The colours have been changed from yellow and blue to a vivid red and yellow colour, which I much prefer. Moving on from that, the iconic Shockwave station has had a repaint. The colours on the Shockwave station used to be a light bluish sort of colour, but is now black and yellow, and a few oranges and reds at the top. Now doesn't this look absolutely amazing? I think this colour scheme looks great and really goes with the area. Could we see maybe the inside of the Shockwave station getting a refresh? Well, we don't really know at this point. The Sheriff Showdown ride has had a splash of paint and other upgrades to the ride which is sure very exciting. I can't wait to see the changes on this ride, hopefully when it opens sometime in May. The Meerkat enclosure has had a new lease of life, including a glass front for guests to see the Meerkats as they socialise and play. Now this image was released on the article but no text and it's one of Drayton Manor's team members painting the Maelstrom op cabin. I mean this ride already looks fantastic and will probably look even better after some maintenance. At the end of the post Drayton Manor also put the following. Keep an eye out for our next behind the scenes vlog coming soon. We'll be diving into even more close season works. Could this next update maybe release the reopening of Splash Canyon? I personally think it's very likely, but we'll just have to wait and see. So there we go, some very exciting close season updates there, all from Drayton Manor Park. Stay tuned as here on the channel, I'll be posting even more out of season updates from Drayton Manor Park and many other theme parks across the UK. So why not consider subscribing so you don't miss any of our regular uploads. And with all that said and done, Thank you for watching Theme Park Enthusiasts and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.